hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm doing another grocery haul i just got back from aldi only aldi and the gym so i'm kind of out of breath I'm kind of dying but let's just hop right into this video okay so from aldi got a good bit of things um i only went to aldi this week because i didn't really need anything from walmart unless i was going to stock up and i was just like you know what no so starting over here i got three large packages of chicken breast a few grocery hauls ago i did this for september where i bought all of trey's meal prep chicken early marinated it and then put it in the freezer so that way every week all we did was take one out let it thaw and then cooked it and his meal prep was done and ready so that worked out really well for us we're doing it again so all this chicken is for trey's meal prep we don't need any chicken for weekends our freezer is still full with chicken and I just, you know, did not feel the need to get extra chicken. They had grapes on sale this week. Trey and I love eating frozen grapes and we call it our like fruit salad at night when he gets home from work. So usually we'll do frozen grapes and maybe a mandarin or clementine, whatever, and maybe an apple or just whatever fruit we have on hand. I also picked up some bananas for Trey to take to work. So he eats one banana in his cottage cheese every day and he eats one banana with peanut butter and honey while he's at work. Back here, I got some garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I got some black beans. The black beans are for Trey's meal prep rice. The chickpeas are for his kale and beet salad. And then I got pineapple chunks. And this goes in his cottage cheese. I got some fun things at Aldi so they had these mousse cups so I got the salted caramel mousse cups and the pumpkin mousse cups these are the only two flavors they had but they were only $2.99 a piece and $2.70 calories for salted caramel and $2.50 for the pumpkin and I didn't know which one I wanted more so I got both I also picked up a bag of spinach from Aldi's spinach goes in Trey's eggs every day I got Trey another bag of russet potatoes we didn't really need these yet but they don't go bad that quickly. So I just keep them in the pantry until we have to dice them up. Maybe in like a week, we'll have to dice them up, but they'll be good by then still. I also picked up some yogurt for Trey. They didn't have the whole milk yogurt this week. So I just got the low fat blueberry and the low fat raspberry. Plus I got the usual 4% cottage cheese. We upped it to 4% ever since Trey started this running program. So I got one of those. This week I needed more vanilla unsweetened almond milk. So I grabbed that from Aldi's. And I'm back to eating my fit and active white bread. So grabbed one of those. I didn't get this last week because we were going to Jersey and I knew I wouldn't finish it before we left. Not that it would get moldy, but I just didn't want to like, I don't know. I just, that was my justification for not buying this last week. So there's that. Okay, so that's the entire grocery haul for this week from Aldi's. So in total, I spent $49.16. I budgeted out $50 for the week. And that was actually not including the fact that I bought the three packages of chicken. Let me clarify. So I budgeted $50 for the groceries for the week before I decided, oh, I'm going to buy three packages of chicken. So the three packages of chicken actually fit in the $50 grocery budget for this week which means I get to save money on the back end the upcoming weeks because I took out $10 per week because that's about how much I budget out for Trace meal prep chicken so it all balances out in the end but in total for October we pretty much saved $30 by buying the chicken like this anywho I hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel if you have not already and follow me on Instagram or Pinterest whatever check out my blog I'll link it down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh.